down. Turn it. Definitely make sure it's going in a couple threads. Make sure you don't cross thread that. And once it's in, pull it right back out. All right, let's get the other four done, put in, and we'll be right back. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys. Now I got my. I got. I don't. You didn't have to get this long, but this is cool. I got a two foot long, three eighths drive extension with a sixteen millimeter deep socket, three eighths drive, or you can use a five eighths. Or you can do the 5 8 spark plug socket, whatever one your preference. So, start off with the first one. And we're gonna turn it around. And then we're gonna go till it stops and a little bit more. That's it. Now, when you're doing these spark plugs, let me bring this around. All right, right here on my ratchet, I'm stopped. But as you're turning it, it's going to feel a little tight. What you're doing is actually crushing that washer at the bottom to make a nice seal. And then you're going to go to it stops and a little bit more. Let's do one more together on this side. Okay, to the stops and a little bit more that is it that is perfect all right guys i'm going to do the other side and we'll be right back all right guys we got our spark plugs in everything is looking great next thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and install our big old coil pack with all the wires yeah buddy <laughs> all right now this this thing <laughs> this thing i'm a jig goes right here so we got our two 10 millimeter bolts. That has to come out. And we have a 12 millimeter bolt right here. And that's not it. We have to take out these two 12 millimeter bolts right here. Because what happens is this mounts up just like just like this and then right here there's an engine bracket that goes right here so what we're gonna do here is take one of our 10 millimeter bolts the one down here at the bottom and we're gonna Put that in there just by a couple threads. Swing it over. Get our other 10 millimeter down in there. And try and get that started and I can get this thing. You can also put a socket on it with an extension. What's so funny? Okay. All right, we got that started. You see that, Siffy? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's put this one up here, the 12 millimeter. Get that started by a couple of threads. All right, and let's go get what? What did you do? Harley, bring that bowl back over here. He's trying to tell you he's hungry or something. Alright, let's go get our bracket and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we got our engine bracket here. That's gonna go. That's gonna go between there just like that. What's that holding? So 
What's what holding? That. What's this? it for? To pick up the engine. Oh. Take the engine out. So that would have been useful for you earlier. Yeah. All right. Put this one in. And make sure all our wires are out of the way. All right. So. Where's my cordless gun? Why did you put, what you put my, Sylvia? See, I'm ignoring you, right? All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna start back here. We got a 10 millimeter deep, and on my cordless impact, let's get with this, let's get this 10 millimeter over here. Then we get this one right here. Then switch over to the 12 millimeter deep, get this one, and then we go over here and we get these two. Look at that, guys, that is perfect. All right, now let me put this down. So so what? The guys, you know, that make comments, they usually say I ask questions that they have. So, okay. in my question? opinion, I think somebody may sit there and say, Tim, you changed the valves, the whatchamacallits, and this and that, and the yada yadas, but you're using the old ignition wires? <coughs> yes, yes I am. Yes, I am going to use the old ignition wires. <laughs> ah! Yo! Somebody's gonna put me on a spot with these guys. Yo! That's messed up, yo! <laughs> fine. Heck with it. Okay, fine. I, I'm not gonna put them on. We're gonna order some new wires. Because Sylvia messed me up here. Put me on a spot. There ain't nothing wrong with these. Wait they look minute. raggedy. Hey, wait a minute. This is a... Uh, is that the wrong wires? No, this one is different from this one. Because maybe he only changed a couple? What the... Import direct. What did I say? Don't say nothing. Same ones. Hmm. Hold it. No, they had the same. Just silicone direct. These are import direct. Is it? This was an import direct. Did he only change some? That's what. Okay, we got this one. Don't. Oh, this one got the white on it. I don't know. Some got white and some got yellow. I don't know. What oh, the heck? Either. So why not just change them and get new wires? All right, those three go over here. And unless we got it that. Okay, this one's yellow, but this one's white, and this one's. Wait, I don't know, man. What the? One, two, and three. But I don't, I don't get it. All right, Sylvie, you, you got it. You got that one. I'm just saying. Okay, fine. You just saying. I mean, we can order some new wires because the wires could be, they could be put on whilst the car, the engines in the car, right? But I then I oh, can't the put that plan on get right. See the little. All right, we'll get you some new wires. We'll see. What All right, we so we're just gonna leave this hanging out here, and let's move on to the next step, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're gonna be moving on to the front of the engine. Let's get this stuff together. All right. So first of all, let's get our 22 millimeter uh, center bolt out of here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is start on the bottom cover. And guys, usually you always see this on these cars, on all cars with the timing cover. You see where the harmonic balancer grinded into it. I don't know why it does. Why? That's so stupid idea. I don't know. But anyway, all right, we have our four 10 millimeter bolts already in here. And it looks like this one's a longer one. Okay, that's cool. So let's get this set up. It looks like it's around here they well they did change the water pump maybe the old water pump but it doesn't look on the out why didn't it look on the outside though mm -hmm. huh 
All right, let's get this lined up in there. Let's get our bolts started. Okay, and we have three out here. Change over to my 10. In fact, let's put this, start this one off a little bit. 10 millimeter deep. Tighten those three up. Four. Alright, that looks good. That looks good. That, that thing, that, that thing's like really close there. I mean, that's, you know, that's not cool. That should be a washer or something be or something. This thing should have been like further back. Wait a minute. It actually looks like look at this. Looks like the the sleeve is actually backed up out of there. So it actually is supposed to be pushed in like that. So in that way it stays away from that. It still looks like it's hitting. That's this is a Sucky man, this. If I had a right mind, I'd cut that thing right out of there. But uh, bring it back a little bit. I mean, that's got to be close for that thing to be even bent out like that. All right, that one's done anyway. Okay, I mean, let's get the top half, and this one goes. There, just like that. All right, now that long bolt will go right into here. Then we have our other little bolt, and we have this special bolt right here. That bolt goes right there. This hooks on into that little groove in there, and start that off. All right, let's get the rest of these bolts in, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our bolts in. I had to go find another bolt because I remember it was missing one or two, but that's okay. Now, let's get these tightened up. That looks good. This thing is going to hit. Look, that's the... That's just crunk, man. That's gonna, sure enough. Boom, thing. All right, next thing we do, let's get our harmonic balancer on. And we got a little roll pin sticking out like right there. So we gotta make sure that it goes into that little hole right there. Okay, let's get that on. Get our bolt with the washer. 22 millimeter socket, half inch drive, and we'll go tighten that up. Bam. Hyundai. Yeah, buddy. Alright, guys, this is looking really good, guys. The next thing we're gonna do is we got our belt tensioner, and our belt tensioner, we got the two holes in here, one right there, and one right there. So we just put that in there. It was hitting. It was hitting that. Huh? I wonder what's up with that. I don't know. Let's turn our bolts till we get them just started. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. And you know what? We can't we can't put that on. Why? Because I, I the belt goes through here. Mm. <coughs> I see. Thank you. Dang it. That's another that's a dumb idea. So we actually gonna stop right there, but then what we're gonna do is take our idler pulley and your idler pulley is gonna have a wash on it. So you make sure that wash is not on like that, or you're gonna hit you're gonna get a lot of scraping. So make sure it's on like that. It mounts up right there. Start it off by a couple threads. Okay, and that's about a, what's that, 15, nope, 17, 17 millimeter, I use a 17 millimeter deep, and, and you got to be careful about this guy, instead of this thing come back, or that thing will drop down, there is a shaft right on this that, like, it's, it's got to go right up against there like that, because it can drop down like that. So what you want to do here is just hold it up in place, and that's that. All right, that looks good. That looks good. The belt's not gonna be able to go on. Is Sylvia gonna yell at me? We get a the original belt. Don't look too bad, Sylvie. Let me see it. Uh, all right, guys. Let me go get the other belt. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's Sylvie. Here's our belt. How the belt look? I guess it looks good. Okay, you see that, Sivy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright guys. This is a stupid setup, man, because this belt actually goes, it goes like this and it goes between it goes between here and it goes around this pulley. So you have to actually What? Yeah, it goes uh around the alternator. Oh, how am I doing this? Don't don't, don't mind me right now. I don't mind what I'm doing right now. It goes between like that. Okay. It's done. I gotta make sure I got this right now. Um Okay, I'll tell you that. Down there. Okay, go like that. Go like that. That. Go around. I'm starting up here. That don't look right. No. Where's your AC compressor go? Oh, oh, dang it, man! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! This goes over here. Dang it! Take this off. You know what? Okay. Let's, 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 let's take this back off again. All right, now. I know from alternator power steering right here. And it goes around here. And This mess. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's your belt routine? Only no belt routine. Okay. That's for punks. Alright. Yeah. Things like that. You know, maybe I should go look up a belt routine. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Why don't you do that? Gee, I wish I thought of it. So you keep on. Keep on. I know it goes like that. Then, dang it! All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, let's start this over again. <laughs> we got right here. It's gonna go right around here to the alternator, and right here is where we gotta hook it up around here. Okay, then it goes up. Power alternator, power steering pump. Come down back between here. 
and over here to the compressor. So it's, it's kind of stupid. You got to actually take this off if you want to change the belt. I mean, yeah, it's only two bolts, but all right, so let's get our 12 millimeter deep. Three drive and let's tighten these bolts up. All right, look at that. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Yeah, buddy, look at this, man, look at this. All right, we got our two 14 millimeter bolts here. Let's take these bolts out. And then we got our power steering pump. Set it up there, and you got to turn this. Let's turn this because you got two holes in there. It's gonna. Line up. Also, look at this. We got this bracket up here. Got a little 10 millimeter bolt. Matter of fact, let's take that out and get that. Use that so I'll hold it up into place. All right. Then we look between there and we get one 14 millimeter bolt. Let's get our 14 millimeter deep socket. So we can start that by a couple threads. Okay, then we get our other one. Start that by a couple threads. All right, then we're gonna take our 14 millimeter deep, put it on our impact, and let's tighten those two bolts up all right then switch over to our 10 millimeter and we tighten up the one right on top guys look at that man then we have the belts gonna come around this way and hold on to that and now we can go over here now I thought this was I thought this was actually leaking but it actually wasn't. This was the plastic shield that went around this thing. I mean, that's how hot they overheated this thing. So what we're gonna do now is go over here and we have our 10 millimeter bolt right here. Let's take that out. And let's, before we put that bolt back in there, oh, we gotta take this out of it because this little clip right there goes right into there like that. Dang it, so I gotta tie this up someplace else. You know what? Let's let's we're gonna tie this thing up to then it won't. Huh. Right now we can Would that thing up there be too high? Where the altar is? Yeah. For now. Let's see, Sivvy. Oh, are you putting the alternator in? No, you're not putting the alternator in. Nope. Look at Sivvy with the ideas. Now, if that comes loose, I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna get blamed. I asked. I didn't say do it. All right. So now we can go back down here. You know what? Let's get our line. Started in there. See that, city? <laughs> Let's get our line started in there. Okay. Then we can go ahead and get that. We got ten millimeter bolt. That. Get that bolt started. Dang it, man, where is it? Boy, imagine how doing this while this thing was inside the car. Alright, let's start it. Alright guys, we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I got me a 10 millimeter shallow socket with my six inch three inch drive extension. And what I'm gonna do is reach down in there and tighten up that bolt. Okay. Now, I've gotta take two wrenches. One, a 13 16th. That's for this one up here. And then a 17 millimeter for the one right there. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. All right. Make sure that's nice and tight. That is perfect. All right, now let's take this wiring, this wire back off. And let's see if we can wrap it around this bracket. It looks like it's then it becomes still kind of too short. All right, that looks great. That looks pretty good. How does it look, Sivvy? Everything coming out good? Perfect. <laughs> oh man! Don't you forget the this holes back here, the return line. I got the clamp back down here. Well, then put it up there. And dang it! Figure it out. Uh, all right. You got any pliers out here or something? See, it's, that, it's those little things that suck that you forget. All right, I'm gonna go from around here, see if I can squeeze that clamp. You know what, this thing, this one, don't you hate that guy? It's like one little thing Mess up your whole day. Oh, Should have remembered this before I put the axle in. I wouldn't be going for this right now. down protect that now it looks good all right guys we'll be right back <laughs> beagle beagle all right ready okay you were filming yeah what the heck? Me, <laughs> all right all right guys let's get our oil dipstick in now we got our 12 millimeter bolt right here Take that out. Like this is so much easier when you put the bolts back in there. Cause that will definitely mess you up. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my silicone. We see. And I'm gonna just put a small ugly looking bead around here just to help with the ceiling. I'm surprised Siri said, why didn't you get a new O-ring? Well, they didn't come with the kit, so this is good. This definitely works. Honestly, I didn't even notice there was one. All Why right, so, so we'll put that in here like that, and there we go. Push that in. Oh, thing just came. Wait a minute. Is that that one still up there? What the heck? Wait a minute. Why didn't you get a new O-ring? Biscuit, man. <laughs> I knew that. Ah, dang it. All right, all right, all right. So we, we got a little problem here. All right, so let's uh clean this up and <laughs> get us a new O-ring. We'll be right back. All right, guys. I got a new O-ring. What I'm going to do is let's take this out. Let's put this O-ring on. Now we're not going to use silicone. Now we're just going to use some 
a little bit of lithium. Why? That's the O ring, it should be good. The old O ring couldn't didn't want to take no chance just in case it was maybe flat on some side, but oh, this one's good. To prevent leaking. Yeah. So now let's see. I'll make sure that's a tight fit in it. It feels like it's tight. Cause I, that's all you need is oil to splash around and leak everywhere. All right, let's get our 12 millimeter bolt in there. All right, let's get our 12 millimeter. And you know, something telling me to put a little silicone on that instead. You know, I'm gonna go with my better judgment. I am definitely gonna go with my better judgment on this. Now I feel more secure, safe that that's not gonna leak. Start this off, a couple of threads. Can you see that, Sibby? It's at a bad angle, I'm asking, I'm being- <laughs> told you I'm not gonna answer you anymore. <laughs> All right, let's get that tightened up. Perfect. All right, guys, now, let me see about this dipstick right here. Make sure the dipstick can go in and don't get, nope, okay, bound up any kind of way. All right, that is cool. And guys, also, check this out, guys. You see these two O-rings right here? This one's set in pretty good. But if your O-rings are worn, change them, because that will give you a PO-171 or a PO-170, a leak. You definitely gotta fix it. That's why they got those like that. It's not just to escape oil and all this. Just that. All right. So this is good. Now, guys, let's um. I'm looking at how high this engine is, yeah. and how high our vehicle is. And of course, right now this is not going to work. But I'm I'm way up on the jack stands. So you know what? What I'm going to do is um. Ah, eh, I ain't worried about it. You worried about Civi? No. So he said, I ain't gonna, I ain't gotta do it. You really gotta, if there's a problem. Um, I don't know, it's gonna be kind of close. Cause what I'm gonna do, the, the idea is to take this and rest this onto here. So what it does bring me a little bit lower. So I'm gonna be really close. But I don't care, we're Astro. We can do what we wanna do. What's this over here leaning? What's this, why you, why you, ain't got, why you got this like this, Sivvy? What like what? This uh, you know what? Let's take this bolt out over here, and yeah, our sensor. Let's set this. Is this hooked up right there? Yeah, it looks like it goes. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's put this put this in right here. Let's get this mounted up. Crank sensor. Okay, that's a 12 millimeter bolt as well. Let's get this dipstick out of the way. Let's tighten this up. Yeah, so now we got that out of the way. Don't worry about that. We got this little wire here for the wiring harness going down to the starter. All right, guys, we are looking really good. All right. Um, we'll be right back.